Well, the polls may be open until 10, but you'll have a little longer. Saturday, in fact, to catch an exhibition by world-renowned artists, the Sing Twins. Yeah, they're showcasing some of their works at Colchester's First Sight Gallery, which is where we can join our reporter Hannah Pettifer in Colchester now. Good evening, Hannah. Hello there. Well, as you can see, the workers behind the exhibition, the people behind the exhibition, are still in the process of setting it up ahead of its private opening tomorrow evening and then opening to the general public on Saturday. Now, as you mentioned, the Sing Twins really are quite a big name in the art world. It's taken them about four years to put together this exhibition, The Slaves, Slaves of Fashion, um, with some of the pieces of work taking up to a thousand hours to create. And having been given a sneak preview of it this afternoon, it really is something special. Treated to a guided tour by the very artists themselves. You know, the politics of trade in the past have parallels uh, in the politics of trade today. The Sing Twins' latest exhibition, Slaves of Fashion, is just about to open at first sight in Colchester, showcasing their hugely colourful, detailed and symbolic work. I think we're hoping that people will take from this exhibition um, different, perspectives. different perspectives about what empire was about. I think there's a misperception among some circles that it was this glorious sort of um, benevolent force for good. And this mm. exhibition really challenges that. But also uh, we'd like people to think about their role as consumers because the show is about the history of empire, which looks at trade and consumerism and, and that relationship and how that links to uh, slavery and exploitation of, of land and people. And of course, that's something that till, still continues today. Every one of their pieces the twins make together, from the meticulously hand-painted miniatures to the digitally created fabric artworks stretched across huge light boxes. We generally uh, divide the work between us. So out of the 25 or so pieces that are here, it was roughly half and half. But we are always very conscious of, of what each other are doing and we will input sort of the creative ideas for each other's works as well. And occasionally we might sort of dabble a bit while the other one's not looking to make improvements. A lot of <laughs> constructive criticism yes. going on, yeah. I think luckily our, our social political outlook is identical. Yeah. So we're very focused as a team, if Definitely. you like, on what we want to do, the kinds of things that interest us, that fire us up, that, uh, you know, that we want to respond to. The show took four years in the making, with each artwork needing anything between 50 to 1,000 hours to create. This is the first time the artworks have been on display since before COVID. It's a huge coup for First Sight, which only last year was named the Art Fund Museum of the Year. First Sight secured the exhibition with the help of the Essex Cultural Diversity Project. I think it's very key that we have diversity within the arts and culture and that's something we really embrace at Essex Cultural Diversity Project is to bring diversity within the arts and heritage sector and uh, I think the Sing Twins exhibition, the uh, Slaves of Fashion, is something that would be key in bringing new audiences and diverse audiences to first sight and also new diverse programming as well. The exhibition opens tomorrow evening running until September after which it will be taken to Norwich Castle. Well, we're joined now by Sally Shaw, who's the director of First Sight. Sally, thanks for speaking to us. Um, I mean, it's, it's such a great exhibition, isn't it? And you, you've managed to attract really big names here over the years. Anthony Gormley, Grayson Perry. Would you put the Sing, the Sing Twins up there as well? Oh, way above. Yeah, they're amazing. Uh, we're really lucky to have them here, actually. It's an extraordinary show. It's taken a long time to put together, but it just looks absolutely stunning. And it's about such big, important current issues as well. So it's just a fantastic show to be doing right now. I mean, who are you expecting to, to come to the exhibition? Who are you hoping to attract? Because it really does cover quite a few bases, doesn't it? It's genuinely for everybody. Every show that we do here, we try and uh, make it appealing to all sorts of different people. But this one in particular, you know, it covers geography, history, fashion, textiles, all sorts of things. But it's also a really beautiful looking show. It's full of colour, it's full of detail. We've got apps that exaggerate the works for you, all sorts of things going on. I mean, that's the thing. There's some really good sort of interactive things as well that people can get to grips with too. Yes, very much so. We want people to get involved in all of our ex exhibitions, make their own work, show it alongside the Sing Twins. That's very much what we're about. Okay, brilliant. Well, thank you very much, Sally. Thank you. And as we said, it's um, open to the general public on, on Saturday. Um, it's a free exhibition as well. And once it's finished its run here, it will be heading to Norwich in October.